come back. I finally woken up middle of the day. Last time I woke up was like, so late, so I couldn't actually manage to do anything. But now I'm actually arrived at Jim J. Yeah, so the plan for the rest of today, well, it's kind of about five o'clock. Yeah, actually, I think it's going after five. I think it's almost six o'clock. And I don't really know, I just walk around, have a look at the, the symphony and lights later. There's free room right around this area. Um, I woke up so late, so I'm not sure, but I think this place is pretty nice. So yeah, let's have a look around, see what we can find. I'm really honest, I don't really know Hong Kong that well. I mean, I've come here in the past, but that's when I was really little, so, you know, I was basically guided everywhere. So now I've just got to basically learn where to go, what, what interesting things there's to do around here. I don't know, maybe just learn some new things as well. Hopefully, it can help you guys as well if you ever come to these places. There's a very interesting old building behind there. We'll have a look around uh, the bar on the left side and have a look. Yeah, currently the time in the UK is around breakfast time. I'm not really hungry to be honest. I don't even know what time zone I'm in at the moment. I'm just very like jet lagged. I'm very I'm not that hungry. Let's have a look around. This place is really beautiful though. Yeah, I think I forget this place is called Heritage. What's it called? It's called Heritage 1881. What? 1881 Heritage. That's what I'm just saying. We're up there. I mean, it's a very classical building. It's quite amazing, like the architecture here. I think there's a way to get up. I think there's an escalator that's on the left of me, so I'm going to have a look upstairs. So we'll have, what it looks like from up there as well. Here is the second floor. I think it looks like it's actually a, a, structure, a bulk structure on the left side here, behind this fancy building. So this is the view from the second floor. You can actually walk up another set of stairs to the third floor. And I, I'm not sure, I can get all the way up the top as well. Let's go all the way up there and have a look. The building behind me is a restaurant. It's quite fancy there, it looks like. And I think it's actually leading a sign that used to be a Marine Police Headquarters. No wonder the building has so much history and like, it's a nice, I don't know, like a um, historic feel about this place. quite interesting this time ball mechanism structure actually helps um, people who are, I think just traveling abroad with like their ships and stuff like that calibrate their times um, accordingly when they come back to like Hong Kong or go to other places to make sure the time zone is correct I think this is where they spin the wheel and then the ball mechanism happens and then all the ships at the shore can like recalibrate their time zones fascinating how like these places work. I just find fascinating how like you know back in like the 50s or 60s or whenever this was like, how these uh, how people come up with ideas to figure out to tell the time or the location and stuff like that. It's quite interesting. I mean a bit earlier I said that looks like a bowl. Actually there's this, this structure here. Uh, I think I figured out what this is. I think this thing is like to detect like the wind the wind strength and stuff like that I think. I think they put like different um, structures under this crane thing and then like um, I guess you can figure out like how heavy or how strong the wind is. See this building across the road from here is the cultural centre. 
which I find very interesting because when I learn new languages, you learn a lot about the different cultures, the habits of the way like people do things. So I, I must have a visit. Right. I'm thinking I'm done with this place now. I'm gonna try to go across the road. I'm not sure. There's a lot of traffic, and I'm not really sure the traffic lights are. Um, yeah, the sunset is around six o'clock at the moment, so it'd be perfect time to see the sunset and see if I can see the symphony of lights. I think it starts at eight o'clock every day. I think I believe. observation bit, um, is it one floor can go up? So I just have a good observation deck. This place is definitely very beautiful as I imagined it would be. So I can't, I can't imagine when the lights go on it would be even better. It's very crazy, people like on the, the boats are pulling up and then like people go on the boat. It's like, wow, I don't know if you can like just stop on it. It would be an amazing experience to like come here by boat, I reckon. Yeah, this upper level starts from the top left as you see and it comes all the way out to the right here. It's pretty a big space. It's quite a lot of people here, but there's definitely like room for everyone. It's absolutely amazing. I think it's definitely a must visit place if you want to experience Hong Kong. I mean, this place is so lively, so many people here. It's actually incredible. Yeah, I think this wraps it up for the first day. I mean, I've only about half, had half a day, it's usually like not sleeping much. But hopefully, tomorrow I'll find some more interesting things to do. If you like the video, please give it a like. Uh, give me a comment to tell me what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more Asian culture videos like this. Till next time, see you soon. In the next episode, we'll from one of the coolest ways to go from Hong Kong Island to Jim Sajre, and it only costs five Hong Kong dollars, so like 50 feet. Yeah, so you don't miss the episode, please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. I think this was the boat I was meant to be on, and now it's going away. Look at me.